good, get an internet. So I could start trying to do some of the Hall of the Fire Lord, except that I'm missing one spell that I need. It's Featherfall, the ability to fall without taking lots and lots of damage. You absolutely need Featherfall in that dungeon. You're just going to die if you don't have it. So not worth it, just going to leave. And I'm going to go walk back to Castle Ironfist. Which, since I have fly, is not actually that hard for me to get to. Oh. Well, this is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Three people unconscious. But I got some neat armor. You want some armor? And that's enchantable. Let's just go ahead and walk over to Castle Iron Fist anyway. Five days to Iron Fist. Sure. And I have arrived in the middle of fight. So, we're back in Iron Fist. Um, we are up here, which is not very far off of the Castle Iron Fist area. So, we're actually in a pretty good spot. Unfortunately, we have to deal with lots and lots of archers. So, I'm probably just going to run. Because you can see all of the different attacks coming my way. Whereas, instead, I can just fly... And fly straight into town. Yeah, this is a much better idea, is it not? Okay. You're a tailor. That's good job, tailor. This gives temporary stats. Speed and accuracy, was it? Yeah. Okay. Let's go into the throne room. Halt! Who goes there? Alright. So this is the most annoying thing in the game. Do not talk to Nikolai Ironfist. Don't. I'm going to at some point, but not right now. And I will explain when I actually get there. But just as the one hint to playing this game, do not talk to Nikolai Ironfist. Wilbur, Wilbur Humphrey is actually the person I want to talk to, who is the person who's effectively in charge. First thing I do is hand him the letter from Roland Ironfist. And basically it's, oh, oh, everything is terrible. Here, have some money. Then you get his council quest because Wil Wilbur Humphrey is a member of the council. Technically, King Roland should be the leader of the council, but he's not around right now, so it's Humphrey. And Humphrey gives you this quest, which is to find Lord Kilborn's shield. Lord Kilborn was last seen in Blackshire, which is pretty far west of here and remember in this game the further west and north that you go the harder things get blackshire is pretty far west so not exactly a place i want to go this is probably one of the last council quests most people do and basically you need to find out what happened to lord kilborn and return at least with his shield in addition wilbert humphrey is the one who gives you paladin promotion quests as the foremost paladin, and I am the foremost paladin, and as such, I am charged with keeping the promotion and keeping the titles and responsibilities of paladinhood. To become a crusader, you must rescue a damsel in distress. That's the entire quest. You need to find a damsel in distress, ah, distress rescue her, and bring her back. Easier said than done. Oops. Do not attack in town. That's a bad idea. Um, yeah. They don't even give you any hints. Dumb kitty. Uh, he's trying to claw luggage now. So let's go ahead and continue. So these are the guilds. Initiate guild of mind, spirit, and body. Initiate guilds have weaker spells, but I can use some weaker spells. Not that it's the correct time of day anyway. It's what... 12, 13 in the morning. Temple's over here. I know this temple all too well. Hello. We've got expert bodybuilding, which I don't even have the bodybuilding skill. We've Hello. got Master of Spirit is here. And here's an interesting thing. The requirements, are, and this is the reason why I explained before that mastery of skills aren't quite as cut and dry as you need X number of skill ranks. They actually change depending on the skill. For Spirit... You merely need to be a high priest, which is the second promotion quest for clerics, which we will absolutely be doing. That's it. There's no other requirement. 
you can have as long as you're an expert in spirit magic because that's required to become a master as it says on the right you must become an expert before you become a master you can become a master spirit magic user which means that you can only you only need four ranks of spirit magic to be a master by comparison i can't remember if it's 12 or 13 ranks that you need for body so yeah it's a little wonky uh, water magic and air magic work the same way for other stuff. For air magic, you just need to be an arc magi. For water magic, you need 13 ranks. Which is why I've started mad off on the... You're just dumping everything you have into... Uh, How are you? Whatchamacallit. Um, water as fast as you can because you need it. So here's something interesting. This is a well. Capital W well that nothing seems to happen. Suspicious. Hint, it's actually suspicious. Oh, there's something down here. I need to go pick that up. One moment, please. This is a crusader's, or not a crusader's. Sorry. It's a, what's the sword called again? Great sword. Anyway. Um, just pluck the sword. Turn it. Fly. Stop just as I was falling. One moment, please. I need to go talk to my cat. So, stop attacking things. The suitcase is not trying to hurt you. <sighs> He's in crazy cat hour mode. Because <laughs> I knock into everything on my area. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to drop this off here for the time being. So, I can at least see it. I can pick it back up later. Here are some more experts of things. And I believe I need one of these. Hi there. Expert plate armor training, which would be nice if I actually had it, which I will pick up when it's light. Expert chain armor training, which I already have. And expert leather, which nobody's going to have for a long time. And finally, expert shield, which... He's going to be the only one to even have a shield. Oh. Go down here and fight some Ba. Yeah. These are, as long as you don't get swarmed too easily, which one of them's trying to swarm me right now, it's not even worth going into turn based mode on these. You don't really take much damage. But they, there's a lot of them. If I had higher speed, this would have been over much faster. But my speed stat is half past terrible still. I have a cat attacking a plastic bag behind me. Also, you notice that they're attacking a cleric a lot more. They seem to not like holy people for some reason. Let me finish these two up. Go back to green. Hit enter. Stop my cat from attacking a bag again. Um, not now, kitty cat. Okay. <sighs> this is probably going to end up being a relatively short video just because it's getting a little late. It's currently 2147 my time. And I have a policy to not play games past about 22 or so. So I'm going to go through some of the shorter slash easier dungeons, basically. Oh, there's something over here. What is it? Berries. Okay. Mostly I'm just waiting until dawn. Oops. That's the route in the New Serpical. It's around there that has the dungeon. All right. I guess I will just take on some bonds and some archers for a bit. So this place, the three enemies... Sign that says New Serpical and Iron Fist Castle. Um, it's Ba, yeah, Ba archers and peasants. As long as I'm careful and don't bite off too much, like from the magical mystic climbing enemies, these aren't too bad. 
The archers are way nastier than the Ba here. And I can always walk back to the temple. Not that I have any buff spells whatsoever, mind you. I'm just trying to be a little efficient on time. Because I've already wasted a lot of time. Is it February yet? No, but it's close. Um, where do I need to go in February anyway? February is missed. Okay, well, I'm going to be heading there in any way. So I guess that will be my plan, is I will head to Mist in February. They're trying to loop around. I see what you're doing there. If only they took falling damage, that would be so much more fun. There's a lot of followers of Ba around the castle, and I really don't know why. There's no explanation as to why there's so many of them here. Okay, that's too many archers for me. I'm going to go back and heal for a bit. So I'm healing anyway, and there's no dragon towers here. I can just fly, so I'm just going to go fly to the temple. This is one of those places I know extremely well. Those little pillar things are teleporters, by the way. You really don't want to go under there. Oh. What time is it? Four. Five. I mean, yeah, I'm spending a little bit more money. I don't really care. I have it for now. So go back down there. Kill more Ba, come back, buy plate mail, or buy the plate skill, finally equip my um, knight with plate mail, buy the repair item skill while I'm at it, actually repair the things in my inventory, then I can go do things. Do you even have skill points left? Yeah, you can get up to repair item two. I guess that'll do. I have horseshoes after all, but I don't want to waste them on repair item. How are you? Are you enjoying this so far? Uh, My Magic 6 is a fairly long game. I'm less than a third of the way through the game. Uh, the first time I played through this game, I probably spent over 200 hours easily. And part of that is because I had no... All right, first time beating the game, I should say. First time playing through, I didn't even come close to beating the game. Furthest I got was actually this temple right here. And I was terrible at this game. In hindsight, I was terrible because I didn't know what I was doing more than anything else. And I kind of brute forced my way into learning how to play the game. Which is not exactly the greatest way of learning how to play my Magic 6. Uh, you're climbing a mountain. Got that one. Give me your body. Want your body. You're a lizard wizard. You're dead now. You're more followers of Ba. Got that one. So I remember playing this and for the first time actually clearing out this area and wondering, what do I do now? This has been most of the game for me. I had never finished a single one of the council quests. It was a very different time for me. Now, it, this game probably will take me about 35 hours total, I would guess. But I'm also explaining things, so it's probably going to take me a bit longer. I'm guessing about 40 parts. It's the reason why I'm doing so many per week. Um, I switched to this schedule from Shining Force 2, because Shining Force 2 is also going to be a fairly long game for me doing the Nuzlocke. But I mostly switched because I realized I wanted to do this next. Oh, this is so much easier when I have good area of effect spells. I do not have any area of effect spells to speak of. And no, Sparks does not count as area of effect spell. I'm talking about like ye olde fireball from D&D type of area of effect. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting off track. I had a conversation topic, which was... Um, this game is the longer of the trilogy of Might Magic 6, 7, and 8. Um, 
7 is probably about half the length of 6, but it's filled with plot. So you'll notice in this game I'm doing a lot of... I wandered over here even though there's no quest. 7, you don't wander places because there's no quest. There's always a quest. You may not have it because you're not going along that path. Because you can't actually do all of the quests in the game on a single save. But there's always a quest. There's always a reason for something to be there. And it feels like a bigger game, even though it's actually smaller. Can't really explain it any other way. Is that actually... No. Okay. Alright, this area is cleared out. I think I can pull off Dragoon's ta Caverns. This is actually a fairly difficult area, so I'm probably going to just do small amounts of it, then leave. These goobers are the reason why it's hard. Oh, thugs aren't too bad. In fact... Inferno! I can actually hit them from up here, it's great. I have to jump first. That's what it is. Nope. Maybe it's aim up. I've done it once already. Got one spark over. That's not helpful. There we go. I am still missing anyway. So the problem with this place is that there are oozes. There's also thugs, ruffians, and full nine yards. I absolutely have to do this in turn-based mode. There's no way I can pull this off without. Heck, I don't even know if I'm strong enough to do this at all. Yes. Brigands can break stuff. That's why I'm a little concerned about going in here. Because I still don't have repair item. There's three types of enemies in here. Brigands, which are the, I think, the official strategy guy called them ar uh, leather armor warriors. It kind of looks like they're wearing leather armor. Yeah, you're melee range at this point. Um, there's also chain armor warriors, which are in here as well. They're fighters rather than ruffians. And finally, there's oozes. Oozes are immune to physical damage. So early game, that's really difficult to fight. I actually have the correct spell to fight them, which is Ice Bolt. Sparks is also really useful. So my goal is to basically go in here as far as I can until I run out of magic. And then... Run back, go get all the things that I need, and go from here. Door won't budge. Okay. That's a door I have to open later. It's over here. I have good memory of this place because, again, this is the area that I kind of know, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. They need to get closer before I can spark some. I should have healed. There we go. So I'm being a little bit less um, obsessed over keeping my magic points down just because I know I'm going to head back multiple times. It's what I'm intentionally doing in this place because I know that I need to head back. What is your obsession with attacking my sorceress? Impact from up here without getting hit by too many things. And there's no more down here. I can just do that. 
I have memories of playing this game at my father's house. Um, my parents have been separated for a long time. Um, over half of my childhood, basically. Yeah, it would be over half. Outside of the one period of time that they were unintentionally not separated. Anyway, um, I have memories of playing this game while my father was watching Deep Space Nine. Barrel blue liquid, that's personality. White liquid, that's luck. Green liquid, that's endurance. 49, 33, 33, 33. 50 is a hit point level, so go ahead and grab that. And these are where the oozes are at. Oozes are not going to be super easy for me to deal with. Nope, that's a bad idea. I already broke something. There's nothing I can do. Those were already broken, so I broke a ring. Drat. Luckily, the uses can't get up to that ramp, so I'm not too concerned at the moment. And the uses are kind of optional anyway. There was something weird about this place, wasn't there? Anyway. I remember my father watching an episode of Deep Space Nine while I was playing this. Oh. And it was the first time I had finished this dungeon. Ever. It was interesting. Oh, I have the wrong spell. Run quick, unfortunately, because that's a lot more expensive. Poison spray. And I have an unconscious cleric, or sorcerer, again. Although I guess this time it's a sorcerer rather than sorceress. So that's new. Also, he's out of spell points. That's not so great. Oh, right. That was a bonus to luck, wasn't it? Ugh. I don't suppose my last quick save was uh, 745... No, it was a while ago. Let's see how long ago it was. So that's now quick save two. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I'm not going to worry about it. It's just temporary bonus to luck. And everybody's unconscious again. This is actually one of the quest items. No, that's right. This is just making that noise. There's no other point to it. That's actually quite nice. Warrior uh -huh. Sword is not enchantable. You need to actually wear armor. You're going to wear that because this is broken again. Ugh. I'm going to have to repair so dang many things. Anyway, you heal up so I can heal you. Uh-oh. I should head out of here. Because I'm very injured and I know what's at the end of the other windy path. Sparks works really well on the oozes, but each of the oozes you're immune to one element of magic. Which is the reason why I need both Sparks and Cold Bolt, because that should hit everybody. Unfortunately, I don't have that much magic, because I am low level. Speaking of, if I only leveled up once or twice? Ah, uh, twice. Okay. You can already tell that there's a substantial difference in XP between some of the characters. And she's so low because she keeps getting knocked unconscious. Grumble. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Also, I have to walk back because I don't have fly. I don't have enough spell points for fly. It's not worth it for me to use up a bunch of potions for it. Uh, let's see. So I was talking about the length of Might Magic 6. I plan on playing 6, 7, and 8 
It's probably going to take me years to go through all of them, but I do plan on doing each of them. Seven is less than half the length of six. Um, even trying to explore and doing everything as possible, it's probably closer to 50 hours. Hi there. That's right. I actually have access to the guild. I just didn't have the money to learn something new. Might as well you learn shield as well. And there we go. I can repair basic leather armor now, yay. But more importantly, I can finally wear something useful. That's going to be cell bait. Um, I need to go to a shop to go repair things. Repair. This is yours. This is yours. This is yours. That's salt bait. That's enchantable. That's already enchanted. The only thing that flute actually does is make somebody happy. There's nothing else. Don't touch the merchant. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Move other things over, the things that I want to still sell. Fifty-two plus two, forty-two plus three, they're equivalent to each other. That gives a higher hit bonus. Let's go ahead and give this to you. Then the rest of those are weapons. Okay, forty-two plus five. 45 plus 8. This is the reason why it's like, ah, oh, but I actually have a good sword. Um, yeah. Oh, I was waiting on leveling up Merchant more, wasn't I? Drat. Oh, well. How are you today? You'd think I'd be able to give the person who actually has a flute in their picture, I think that's a flute at least, the flute. Oh, so Dark Containment is the most powerful spell in Dark Magic. Except it's actually not a very good spell, with one dungeon as an exception. This is where I can learn Expert Bow, which I will probably not get this game. At all. It's just not worth it. Um, I might end up getting it on my knight if I have nothing else to do. But really, my arrows are meant for picking people off slowly. It's not meant for my major source of damage. So I don't really intend to use a bow for most things. Later on, there'll be a different style of weapon that I can use out of range, and those are much better. But I don't have that yet. <sighs> Going back to the temple, I know this route oh so well. I should probably recruit somebody else. But first, I am going to start enchanting. Yes. That is not high enough. I did not realize. I can do. Okay. That's definitely not high enough. Plus four accuracy. Plus three might. That's enchantable. Armor class plus eight. Okay, so they're just really good shoes then. Actually, I'm going to give them to her because she keeps getting attacked for some dumb reason. Do, 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 do. I'll just start walking back downstairs while I wait. Giant item. Call it. Cold resistance plus nine. 
I should probably also check out the guilds. Guardian Angel, Heroism is a really good spell. Healing Touch is the one that I don't have. Oh, this is Spirit, that's why. Healing Touch. So, Healing Touch is basically first aid, costing one more point of magic. It heals slightly more, but it's still crap. I really don't understand it. Remove Curse I'm going to need soon. I don't need it right this instant, but I have a bit of money. Um... That's all I'll buy from here. Okay. That's okay. The one. Okay. Mind. I don't think there's much I'm gonna be buying here. Mass Fear could be fun to play with, but it there's enough enemies in this game that it doesn't work on that it's not that great. Cure paralysis is definitely going to be needed. Already have removed fear. Precision's bonus to accuracy, which I don't care about to speak of. Charm is fun. It just calms somebody's emotions, basically. It's useful for, hey, you, don't bother yourself in this fight. Except once more, there's enough things in this game immune to what's called magic element attacks that it's not worth yes. casting. One exception to that. All right, body. Speed, your wounds. Yeah, you didn't think that body magic places would be selling you speed, did you? Yeah, these spells all suck. I don't remember if that's because all of these spells suck, as in body doesn't have any good spells in the middle, which is why I'm reloading. Harm is actually halfway decent. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up harm. Okay. So harm is a magic offensive spell. It's relatively cheap. Unfortunately, it's also not very good. It doesn't level up very high, and more importantly, um, enchant that. That is poison resistance eight. Not great. Claw Amulet and the Steel Helm. I doubt the Steel Helm is going to be enchantable. Claw Amulet probably will be. Right, she can use an... Oh, that's right, she has a two-handed weapon on her. That's fine. It's already enchanted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, no, those are not the finest weapons in Zealand. These are the crappiest weapons in Zealand. Sell that. I'll sell the axe for now. It's not that great of an axe. I know that's enchantable. Regen. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait, you already have regen. I'm going to give that to the cleric then. What did you have before? Half damage from missile? You're going to get that now. When did you have before? Electric resistance? You're going to get that now. There you go. Everybody has an amulet. I'm just going to start walking back to the temple because I need to heal or restore his magic. And then I'm going to go back into where I was. It would be much easier if I actually had mark it. Or, um, first. Yep, didn't think so. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, my reputation's slowly falling even more. Basically, this game is a battle against when you run out of reputation, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. And that's Master Sword. Is this Master Body Build? No, Disarm. And ID item. And I'm intentionally not leveling up again for a bit because I have more quests that I want to finish. Uh, so let's see, I talked about Might Magic 7 a bit. Might Magic 7 is probably my favorite of the series plot-wise, but Might Magic 6 is more fun for I want to go beat things senseless. 
don't really know how else to describe it. I think it's because I've played through Might Magic 6 a lot more than I have 7, so it's more familiar and comfortable to me. Might Magic 8 is a very short game. In fact, the speed run for it, I think, is below an hour. I think it might even be below half an hour. Alright, let's go through again, shall we? Right, that's the pathway down, which I'll be going back to shortly. But I wanted to clear this out because I forgot to do that before. Might Magic 6, 7, and 8 all use the same engine, although 8's engine looks a lot better than 6 or 7's. Um, it's actually the basis behind any of the HD mods. I'm not running the engine, I'm not running that particular HD mod because I don't see much of a reason to. Anyway, let's walk through here. I really thought that there was something in there. Hmm. Anyway, this area is not going to be nice. Because, oh, it's the next part. There's an enemy in here that is very nasty. Fighters are fine. It's the veteran that I think is also in there. Oh, you still have ID item. So these are the chain style of enemies. And there's one more that's plate style. The plate styles are very nasty enemies. Um, they're bosses for a chunk of the game. Oh, that regen. Okay. Hit that. Hit the button, which opens up that thing on the other end of the hallway. I swear there's actually something there, too. I don't remember now. Maybe it requires... I don't think there's anything that requires Master Perception. So, up the ramp again. Vivid memories of listening to my father's episode of DS9. He was talking about the Orion Syndicate, if I remember correctly. With Chief O'Brien, because it was an O'Brien Must Suffer episode. Oh yeah, this room. So this is an elevator. Bet you didn't know you could just use the elevator and cheat and do that. I'm not going to bother because it's not worth it. I'll just eat the damage. I meant to set that as red. There we go. You're going to die. There we go. Right. I believe they also act oh, it's that glitch again. Luckily it, the glitch goes away the moment I hit jump, which is nice. Bet you would have never guessed there were enemies behind that door. Ignore the fact that there's red alerts by my characters. You know, you wouldn't expect my party to actually be of nothing but mages when you look at it, but like as in how I'm actually acting when I fight, they totally are though. This is why I like mages in this game, because at lower levels there's not actually as big of a difference between them as you would think. The stats more than make up the difference. So the way this game works, stats for like, say for instance, endurance. Endurance, higher endurance stat will give you a flat bonus to hit points. Uh, that bonus is um, has diminishing returns, so 500 endurance versus 250 endurance is a smaller difference than, say, 10 endurance to 30 endurance. But it's a flat bonus, so that means that if you have really high stats in the beginning, then it doesn't particularly matter. Ooh, that's a really nice hammer. 
or mace, whatever. And that's a piece of garbage. That's a piece of garbage. Alchemy items. That's enchantable. I can use more enchantable things. Also, one problem with having wizard eye and having expert level is that you see all of the items, but you don't see what floor the items are on. I want to say there's something stupid right here. Yeah, that's a door that will open up once I go further. I don't remember when it opens, but it opens on you, basically. So, it will open when you don't want it to. I think it's walking further down the hallway. Maybe it's triggering from opening that door. Hi, soldier. You are not what I was expecting right behind the door. Dead now, though. Get that. Might as well heal. Maybe that triggered that opening? Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh, this is a treasure chest. Or a treasure chamber, not chest. Food. Food. Crappy staff. Thing that's going to cause lots of damage. And orders from the Shadow Guild. This is actually what I was looking for. Damien, congratulations on your new assignment. The Shadow Guild wants you to ambush caravans passing from New Serpical to Iron Fist or Freehaven. Under no circumstances are you to divulge that you have, have any connection to us or the deal is off and you will find out what happens to those who betray us. Do as you are told and there won't be any problems. The Prince of Thieves, who you meet later on. Divine Power. So these are, this is one of the black potions in the game. Um, this one temporarily adds 20 to your level, which is very nice for things like bodybuilding and um, meditation, which add hit points and spell points per level, and also a year of age when you drink the potion. The year of age is semi-permanent. Yes. Okay. Ah. Is that enchanted? No. I will enchant that. I can. Doom is probably better at this point of the game. You can use shields, but you're using a two-handed weapon, so I don't care. So, that is technically all I have to do in this dungeon. There's nothing else to required. So there's plenty of things that I want to do. I clear it out. The uses are a lot harder to clear out, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off easily. I love their AI being idiots when it comes to bridges. Um, as I kind of mentioned, Might Magic 6, 7, 8 are part of the same trilogy. This doesn't really change. Their intelligence never changes in this game. Just say that right. Or never changes in the trilogy. Yeah, I can actually hit oozes from up here. Well, not when it bounces around like that. Problem is that I'm not doing that much damage. And they can actually do a lot of damage to me. See, I'm barely even hitting the thing. It's not worth it. It's meant to be a hazard rather than actually supposed to be something you're supposed to fight. You can fight it. There's actually treasure down there, but it's not great treasure or anything. I don't remember what's in this section. Yeah. 
rule of dungeoneering, never go down a passageway that you don't know what's at the other end. Oh, this would be a great time to have a fireball spell right about now. However, they're all sitting ducks, so I'm just going to sit here for a bit. In fact, uh, double time is F. Nope, that's full screen. There's double speed. Got that one. There's no reason for me not to speed this up since I can. Uh, the double time thing's actually from the unofficial patches. See, this is why I have bow, by the way. Okay. Nope. There's actually something over here. Hi, Ruffian. I didn't realize there was anybody on the side of the bridge. Good job making it over. You're dead. That's your reward. Okay. Run across. Type of walking. To avoid all the uses that are there. Again, mostly as a... Uh, I have no healing left. That's not great. That opens the doorway that I skipped earlier. I bet. I actually don't remember off the top of my head. But I bet it does. Let's go ahead and quick save. Or maybe a doorway in here. I don't remember what that even opens anymore. And brigand. Ugh, I'm taking way too much damage. I should heal. I'm not going to, though. Because that would require me sit resting up. Was this the elevator that ends up going to the evil place with lots and lots of oozes? No. see I should actually heal up slightly I'm doing that jumping thing again for some reason I don't have to do I don't remember what's down here anymore it's probably treasure of some variety I don't hear what's on the other side so I don't know what it is my eh, regular enemies. Okay. Actually, I bet this does more damage than this. 2d4 plus 5. Yes, it does. Just die already, please. I don't even know what's in here. I'm not seeing much of anything, that's for sure. Doors on each side, okay. There was something else in this dungeon. I don't remember anymore. It's been too long. And that's a weird thing, is that I used to have this dungeon completely memorized. Treasure! I can deal with treasure. Actually, I probably can't. It would probably kill me, because my disarm trap is non-existent. I lived. It's okay. Ah. And that is kind of crappy leather armor. Okay. So I am going to pass the amulet of regeneration over for a bit. That way he can start slowly regenerating. So it's not like I have spell points at the moment. Yeah, I've got one. I'm going to try to finish this dungeon. I don't think I'm going to succeed without needing healing. Not like that, that's for damn sure. You going to follow me? No, because your AI script is terrible? I'm sorry. Now you're going to follow me.
Anybody else deciding to follow me? All of you are. Good. Heal. Oh, that's not a good sign. You're at least back up now. Are you serious? Negative five. I'm running low on healing. I probably should have just gone back to town at this point, but I'm too damn stubborn. I was trying to hit the thug, not the brigand. There we go. There. So, um, your initiative actually changes order shortly after you um, hit enter. So, you can actually pull off, if you have a fast enough spell, being able to cast the same spell twice. In a row. Uh, this is to oozes, isn't it? Nope. More of these goobers. Probably a bad idea right now. Yeah. Oddly enough, he will actually revive himself because he has that emulative regeneration. Yeah, this is almost certainly too much for me to handle right now. Yep. I'm just going to run for a bit. Negative one. I think back up. Nothing I can do. Broken yet again. That explains why they went so far into negatives. Uh, every time you get knocked unconscious, there's a chance of items breaking, basically. Uh, I really want to just finish them out before returning. Maybe I can lure one of them out. Come on. Got one. Yeah, notice he's already at four hit points. The amulet of regeneration is really nice early on. Um, I have no healing remaining. Not without doing this. Success. Okay, everybody's up now at least. That's not what I wanted to do. Run. Not coming out of the door, are you? The AI script is really dumb when it comes to doorways. They have to basically hit it just right. Okay, at least I got that one. So the rest shouldn't be as hard now. So I think there was only one or two reds. Come on just see them getting stuck on the edge uh, I'm not even gonna finish this dungeon am I are you serious you had to actually hit didn't you okay I want to at least finish this yeah there's no way I'm doing that right now um, let's see. Can I get back to green over here? I'm close enough to green. Can I rest? Yes, I can. I'm surprised. So, when you rest in a dungeon, there's always a chance that you end up encountering random enemies. I didn't, which is good. I don't like resting. Again, I'm trying to do this without taking a huge amount of time. But I also want to finish the episode already. Ooh, that one hit a lot harder. Well, that's a relatively nice spear. Spears are usually cheap, but... Okay. 
Okay. Yes, I see you. Yeah, arrows can't necessarily hit, but come on. There's a bunch of oozes underneath. That's why there's a bunch of red dots. Let me zoom out on the minimap again. Come on. I'll kite you a bit. Dang, my speed stats are terrible. See how the enemy moves? When you're far enough away from them they'll move diagonally until they hug a wall for a while it's a really strange movement but every might magic game seems to have the same movement all right in here is the boss of this area and that's veteran notice the very wide hit point bar this is the first sort of boss in the game yes he doesn't have very good magic resistance though if i remember right that's my one saving grace Um, does that even hit you? Okay, it does. So the way I normally end up having to fight the veteran is by kiting it all the way back to the entrance. Uh, the entrance to this floor, that is, not the entrance to the dungeon itself. I shouldn't need to do that in this case. Because I should be powerful enough with that ice bolt to be able to pull this off. Ice Bolt's a really nice spell. Yeah, I, he's mostly dead already. The problem with the veteran is that if they get a melee attack in on you, they break something. And they're already running. I'm fine. Also, look at how high their AC is. I basically can't hit the veteran with arrows. To be fair, I have a party of mages, basically. There we go. Got the veteran. Veteran is worth 161 gold. All right, now here's the fun part. These chests, one of them is correct. The rest are teleporters. See, teleporter. This would be a lethal area for me. Which is why I saved. Another teleporter, although that's not lethal at least. I don't feel like running back because I want to end this already. I still need to... Is it third one? Nope, that teleports me back here. Music's playing, okay. Fourth. Teleports me here. One of these is actually a chest. And it's probably going to end up killing me. Fifth. Oh wow, that was a lot of damage. I'm actually going to reload that. You're going to heal yourself up a little bit more. That's better. And I have a harp. Which is actually my quest objective for this dungeon. Paladin gauntlets, totally enchantable. Cavalier gauntlets, totally enchantable. Still enchantable. Enchantable. Not enchantable, but already enchanted. Enchantable, but I can't enchant weapons right now and salvate and i think this is the one that teleports me back to the entrance or close enough to the entrance no this one doesn't teleport me back to the entrance it is actually faster for me to use one of the teleporters now i would love to be able to go after all the uses i don't think that's feasible for me to do right now although you know what? Let's try. Oh. There's actually a halfway decent leather armor down there. That, that must be a random teleporter then. Yeah, it's random. Okay. I will come back here later for the uh, armor. Or, not armor, um, for the uses. I'll just run back since it's random. And, well. 
that was the Dragoon's Dungeon. Uh, let's see. The Mandate of Dragoons? I think I could do Mandate of Dragoons. This is not Mandate of Dragon. Not Mandate of Dragon! Dragon I'll probably end up doing later. So Mandate of Dragoons, I guess. Anyway, the recording's been just about an hour. Just wandering back. Let's go ahead and start enchanting items on my way back. I don't know what time of day it is. 2.30 in the morning. Oh, well, don't care that much. Um, boots. What are thou boots? Boots of doom. You can have doom. That's now salt bait. Um, let's see. Cast. Gauntlets. Gauntlets are might plus eight. Existing gauntlets are endurance plus four. Your gauntlets are fire resistance plus five. Your gauntlets are awesome. I mean, poison resistance is not actually that great, but awesome in so much as other things, like actually having good armor. I'm starting to babble because I'm really tired. Quest, 5,000 gold. Yay. And also letting you know that, hey, by the way, if you go back to New Serpical, they'll be very happy with you right about now. Okay, so I have things that require me to go back to both Freehaven and New Serpical. And I still have more quests that are required in here. But I'm going to be stopping this about now-ish. I'm just going to hit the temple first. It's probably too late for the temple now, isn't it? Temple closes at 3 in the morning, was it? One in the morning, yeah, I was definitely late for the temple. Five in the morning, there we go. Heal, let's go ahead and enchant the rest of my stuff. You are regen spell points over time, yes please. That's your new gauntlet. Points resistance 10. That's decent. <coughs> mm, my apologies. If I had a little bit more warning, I would have muted the microphone first. Yours was endurance, right? Yeah, so that's now cell bait. That's also cell bait. Belt is going to be the next one. Belt. Endurance plus 9. Your belt is might 22. Yeah, you're not changing your belt anytime soon. You can get endurance. Yours was speed. Actually, I think I would actually prefer the speed. You're getting a belt now. Ugh. Inventory management. Item on. Oh, that's about it. All right. Um, speed and accuracy on armor. You were. You have better armor. You have better armor. You're. Yeah. You actually need to still enchant that, don't you? Let's move things out of your inventory. Let's enchant your chain. It's not going to be a great enchantment, but it's better than nothing. Which is what you currently have. Ugh. Spell failure. I can do. Go get it repaired. Here. Oops, I meant to move that first. Might plus 11. That's actually fairly nice. Repair. So, if you're wondering why I'm repairing something before selling it, it's because it's always worth repairing before selling. That's right, you have something that needs to be repaired. Doomsday cloaks are actually fairly nice. And 
that's now much better. Nice. In fact, actually, you're getting that now. You're getting that. That's not enchantable. That is. You don't have enough magic out, do you? Magic out. Yep, good job, me brain. Me brain good. Um, yeah, I'm just not going to bother for now. Okay. I'm going to go sell stuff. I know this is fascinating watching me sell things. But I want to do this before I end the episode because I don't want to leave off on anything. Go in here. Wait until lazy mages actually wake up. Now it's actually, I probably have enough spell points to be able to enchant. Nope, not high enough quality. I, can do. Hmm, I thought Elvin was. Um, let's see. Sell, 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 sell. Thanks. Nothing I can do. Oops. It's probably not worth it. I'll hold on to that for the time being. Move that away. Move that away. Move that away. Hold on to Awaken. Hold on to Spell Burst. Or Starburst. Yes, there's something in my inventory that I should be selling here. Repair. Re-equip. Move out. Go back here, sell, go back, sell, end. See, this is why I repair it first. It's because you only get one gold for something that's broken. Instead, I get a lot more. And that should do it. Let's take a look at our characters. See, I could level up to level 12. So three levels beyond this. I'd like to level up a little bit more first. So I'm probably going to complete some more quests. But there you have it. I will stop here for the night. Hope this has been at least somewhat enjoyable as I slip further and further down into my chair. It's kind of a bad habit of mine as I'm getting tired. And, well, yes, that gambler just walked up a cliff. Scholar is the one I already have, right? Yeah. Uh, Hunter. Hey, you got to see the attack animation there. Once more, insensitive things, because this game is not exactly... Ooh, it's Sunday. Mm, tempting. I don't actually need to do it, though. So, there's actually an arena in this game, and it's available from... Leaving Castle Iron Fist on a Sunday via stables. I'm just going to go walk over to it. I'm not actually going to go to the arena. Especially since I need to go to bed. Um, ooh, master healers are really nice, except they're really expensive. It's 50% of your money for a master healer. Guide, alchemist, missionary. Apprentice. See? To the arena. Actually... I'll just show it to you really fast. I'm going to be stopping here, but this is the arena. It's a wide open, it's technically indoor space, even though you see sky there. It's technically indoors, which is very important for certain spells. And those are the exits. You go up to the arena master, who looks like that. You get to ask what level of arena battle that you want. This is Lord level, which has lovely things like harpies, more witch doctors, druids. Druids, for some reason, sound like cats. I don't know why. Huge spiders. Usually at lower levels, these aren't too bad, although dealing with skeletons right now would suck. Harpies would be, harpies are really bad too. 
Water beasts are gonna be nasty. Yeah, this is gonna be an easy battle. It's mostly hard because I'm surrounded. And because I traveled, I can't keep any buffs with me. And you cannot teleport into or out of the arena. So you can't Lloyd's Beacon or anything. You have to basically cast all of your buffs while you're in the arena. I'm not going to do it anyway. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. And I don't see... Oh, there's one interesting thing. I don't know if you've noticed while I've, I've been walking around Castle Iron Fist. There are no men. There are no peasants walking around that are male. At all. No idea why. Just, they don't have any. There's no in-game reason for it or anything as far as I can tell. Or even technical reason. They just don't exist. I've gone 10 minutes longer than I was intending. Good night, Internet. I will see you tomorrow.